did a short a few days ago regarding a giant birdhouse that I built and I promised that I would show more of the details of the structure and how I actually assembled it, how it holds together. And uh, so this is a video that will mostly use SketchUp to show you the internals of this birdhouse and hope it's uh, helpful to you and maybe encourage you to build one yourself. This house is made out of 100% of cedar fence boards. I bought a bunch of 1x6. Admittedly, it was back when a 1x6 was really a 1x6, so it was 3 quarters of an inch thick and 5 and a half inches wide. You can still find it, not as easily, but uh, this is 100% made out of cedar fence boards and some galvanized metal. There's a feature in SketchUp that'll let you explode a model, and uh, so I thought I'd use it just to show you this thing is made out of a lot of little parts. And uh, I'm gonna try to walk through those parts one at a time in the order that I, I built them to give you an idea how the fi finished product was put together. It's pretty stable. I built mine upon a, uh, a tree that had died, so it's basically a tall tree stump. If you were going to do this with a post, I would probably recommend a 6x6. Six six. And uh, so here's a 6x6 six six represented and what would become the internal uh, base of the birdhouse. And then you add a frame around it and you, you can see that if you've nailed through the top of that base piece into the post and then you put some kind of spacer boards around the bottom you can get a very tight fitting uh, connection to the post where there won't be any wobbling. The sides of this were both done with a diagonal brace so that the building itself wouldn't rack. Because the front and backs are solid, they won't rack on their own. Then it's just a matter of putting in dividers to create the little, uh, you could call them birdhouse apartments, whatever they you may want to call those. These were just dividers made out of, again, one by six, uh, glued and screwed together. Then I put a skirt around the bottom. I made the front out of three one by sixes, uh, screwed together, glued together, and screwed together. Uh, so that's a solid piece. The back is also a solid piece of uh, three one by sixes, and I've got a little pull-out, kind of a lever latch that will hold the back in so that when you uh, need to clean out the birdhouses, you can just pull this pin and remove the back of the house and get to the back side of all of those separate little six birdhouses on the inside. So the back goes on and you've got a solid front and a solid back so the birdhouse won't rack either front and back or left and right. After that, I cut a few couple of gable pieces to create the curve in the roof line that I wanted in the front. You cut any old shape you'd want. I wanted this to look sort of elvish, so I did these crazy curves. Then I just put some slats to support the roofing material, which is nothing but galvanized tin with a little bend on each edge just to create a shadow line to make it look somewhat like uh, shingles or scales even though it's just straight pieces of galvanized tin with one little bend. Then the siding is made out of uh, a beveled uh, half by six, you could say, siding that I literally also made from full one by six fence boards by just simply ripping them on my table saw with the blade set at a slight angle so that if you ripped halfway through the board on one side, flipped the board over and ripped it the other way. Here's a de uh, just a demonstration of that. You can see that out of one board you get two pieces of uh, siding and they end up with a one half inch butt end 
and a one eighth inch top end and they lay on top of each other with a whole lot of overlap to give the thing a nice uh, a nice look super watertight and also a lot of nice shadow lines to just make it look nicer so here's just an illustration of slanting the blade and cutting halfway through that one by six flipping it over and cutting the other way through and uh, by doing that you end up creating a couple of pieces of lap siding <clears throat> out of a single one by six. Once I'd cut all that siding, I go back to the uh, skeleton of the house and just nailed that on as you would nail on siding uh, with a lap, just dividing the total distance by the number of laps that you wanted. Then I added corner boards in order to capture the ends of the siding and capture the edges of the front and back panel. I put a little intermediate shelf in it that is nothing more than a decoration uh, to uh, kind of break up the front of the house. Then on that I put little extensions on all the bird house openings. I extend those openings about three-eighths of an inch just to add some dimension and some depth and some nice shadow lines to uh, again just make it look a little nicer put some perches on it and some brackets just to decorate it more than anything then on top of that i put galvanized steel and the galvanized i use to bend over the skirt to keep the water from pooling on that bend over that intermediate shelf add some design to it and i made them as spiky and uncomfortable as I could because I wanted to dissuade squirrels from climbing up this thing. And it, I have to say it's worked perfectly. We have no issues with squirrels chewing at the bird holes or chewing this thing up because it's kind of squirrel unfriendly. So that is the way I built it. Dimensions are completely up to you. Uh, this one ends up about 16 17 inches wide and almost four feet tall from peak to bottom. Here's a look on the inside of those uh, inner chambers. And uh, that's the birdhouse. Thanks for watching. I've just got some photos coming up here just to give you an idea what this thing looks like in place. It is weathered well. The uh, galvanized roofing obviously keeps water out of it, has no leaks. And it's been up for, uh, I'd say, five or six years now. It's got great patina. The galvanized is, is taking on a nice uh, patina color. The cedar has also taken on a nice color. And uh, we're pretty happy with it. It's really more of a decoration. And uh, honestly, don't care if birds move in or don't move in. It's, it's really just something to look at and it's sort of a fun, fun project. Hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have. Go ahead and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.